Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episode 8 of season 2 of The Promised Neverland. So let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> in 3, 2, 1, go. Are we really on season 8? I'm in a season 8, my bad. <laughs> episode 8? I mean, seriously? And how many episodes is the second season getting? I think, what, the same length of season one? I don't even remember. So, like, 12? And then because of the fact is, you know, we, we go in a completely different route from the manga. And I, as, as an anime only, I'm like, what the fuck? I wonder if, you know, we might get that full, you know, Norman focus episode and, you know, backstory. Maybe. Yes. No. Yes. And you what? It feels like a shut up. He just goes back into Martess and what the fuck? Hmm. Well, he is bright for his age. Damn, and they still look at him while he eat? And Jesus. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah, that's funny. 
needs all of his friends. Oh. Damn. What the fuck? Mm -mm. Hmm. Hell, they could have blown that bitch up some more. Hmm. So that's all you're going to give us, huh? Just seven minutes? Norman, you're not gonna die. I, I, I don't think they're gonna kill you. You're too important to this damn show. It could be anywhere, though. Mm -hmm. Holy shit.
So would this be like day one for them? Hmm. But I don't even know if that's enough though. Then y'all screwed. He is. Hmm. Let's hope so, guys. Cause it ain't looking good. That thing would hear them. You're right. I don't like the fact that he's becoming an enemy. Like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> You know, she running like she fucking stole some. Oh! <sighs> I was reckless. Badass, but reckless.
Well, it's more like the other way around, but okay. <laughs> Yeah. They had one more fucking day left. Oh, shit, damn. Yeah, but you never were going to listen to them, were you, though? Oh, God, that's so fucked up. Oh. Mm-hmm. Of course he did. Please don't tell me they're about to do what I think they do. They're going to have him come so close to each other and then she's going to die. them won't bring them back. It won't bring any humans back. So you want to tell me it was kind of like human or some shit?
because they have feelings. You're just as worse as them. episodes we got left with this bitch because like bruh no no like oh god can you imagine if the finale was the next week Woo! jesus christ hold up uh, it'd be really weird if they decided to kill norman because he's that not only corrupted but because of the fact is he you know now he's officially seeing that you know demons have feelings just as much as humans but he's just as bad as the demons he's possibly even worse he's sitting here having you know your four disciples um killing demons left and right and center and the fact that he didn't wait until emma and them got back he was like fuck it you know you got five days right okay on the second to last day i'm gonna go ahead and kill everybody i don't give a fuck what you think I, I, okay, for seven minutes, I understand that we only got seven minutes of, you know, what he did and everything. It shouldn't have been just seven minutes. There should have been a whole episode. A whole. Not seven damn minutes. Seven To, se to me, seven minutes is not enough. That's not enough to establish how he currently still feels about the demons. The situation that he was dealing with while he was, um with peter eventually taking four people him being a god and all the way up until he meets emma that's what this whole episode should have been about period from beginning middle and end a whole little client a little section or a filler episode about him instead of doing just seven minutes because like i said seven minutes isn't enough but uh, it is what it is i don't i have no idea what the fuck this company is doing um I'm a little, I'm not pissed, but I, I'm I'm in the I'm in the between right now, like because bruh, I, I mean I really really thought he was going to kill the elder demon and that the little girl Emma would have eventually ran away by herself and she would have been alone, but thank God you know Emma came and saved the day because of course she is our protagonist and shit like that and such but the fact is that she saw him as a baby or really more of like a toddler or a young child um in session how he's still scared and he doesn't really know what to do right now because he's following what he thinks is right but us as the viewers and emma herself thinks this is wrong and that he should have waited but at the same time even if he did possibly wait he wouldn't have wanted to hear anything from emma from sandra manju like nothing so he was like fuck it i'm gonna put it in my own hands and by the time everybody gets back you know everything's gonna be okay which it's not it, it's really truly not with the <laughs> i don't know how the fuck this show is gonna end with how, how many episodes we have left but honestly you know this show is a fucking hoot and I, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. What if you would have told me this shit at the beginning of season two, I probably would have looked at you like you was nuts. Like, nah, this shit ain't gonna happen. But 
like I've said this for the past few of the weeks, and I'm going to say it again. He's a completely indifferent, total different person than we've known from season one. Once he got, you know, taken away with Peter, that was a completely different person. Not the same person that we know and love for the certain amount of episodes that he was in. I don't know, like, it makes me, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and fucking ask this to the manga readers who have read this series, and I know this series is done, and I may even ask one of my friends who's possibly read the manga, because I think she has. Was Norman like this in the manga? Like, did he want to do something like this, or was it much, much worse? Because, I don't know! <laughs> I mean, Jesus, like, what, what else can I say about this? I, I really don't know what else to say, but I, I feel like, number one, they are probably, as an anime only, going into the filler part of this, because since everyone has said none of this has nothing to do with the manga, they might kill Norman or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't want them to kill him because he is vital to this group but because of the fact is this is not the same Norman he is the same Norman but he's still he the way he thinks is completely different because he's been through so much shit I, I, at the same time I'm like if you have to yes then kill him it makes sense to kill him because he's just that fully corrupted and the shit that he went through it just is still traumatizing to him but who knows what the hell they're going to be doing next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of season 2 of The Promised Neverland. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Thursday for episode 9. Bye, guys.